my name is Penny and as usual I'm here to talk about some bookish things specifically. Today I wanted to go through this old list I found of the books that I bought quite a while ago. So if you watch my vlogs you'll know that I have uh, occasionally been clearing out the wardrobe behind me that was full of boxes and in one of those boxes I found a lot of notebooks. Like I already had a whole shelf of notebooks but apparently I had two whole boxes of notebooks. Uh, some of them were used, a lot of them were not. But in one of those notebooks I found this list. So I'm pretty sure it's from 2005. At the time I had just gotten a scholarship at university so I'd gone from a completely broke university student to suddenly having a tiny bit of money that I could spend uh, and I got into buying cheap books on Trade Me which is New Zealand's version of eBay and apparently I kept a record here of all the books that I bought and how much they cost and how much I'd spent overall. Now some of these don't say what specific books I bought because they were bulk lots but there are some here so I thought uh, I would go through and see which ones I even remember and which ones I actually read. And since 2005 was a long time ago now I just thought it might also be interesting to see uh, some older mostly fantasy books. I think a lot of the books I was getting secondhand were probably from the 90s. So let's see if that was true. I do have Goodreads open up in front of me so that I can look up some of the books that I don't remember. So the first book on the list is Fifth Quarter by Tanya Huff. This series is one that I absolutely love and I don't actually own it anymore but my sister does uh, which is lucky. I do think this, I remember that this version of Fifth Quarter that I had was like in really terrible condition and I paid $8 for it. What was I thinking? Anyway. These covers are absolutely beautiful. To be honest I don't really remember much about the story. Something to do with elemental magic and like these elemental spirits. I think that series is definitely up for a reread at some point. Then next I have three books by Anne McCaffrey. So I have Damia's Children, Restore Re and The White Dragon. So I don't think I own any of these books anymore. However, Damien's Children was part of a series? Is that right? Yes, it was the third book in a series. Whoa, wait, wait. There's more books in this series? There's five books in this series? I'm pretty sure I only ever read the first three and I don't remember much about them again but I think it was a science fiction series where this woman had amazing psychic powers and then her children had the same thing? Wow, now that I know that there's more books in this series, uh, I think I need to reread this and continue the series. Although, I do know that these days I don't enjoy Anne McCaffrey's writing as much, so it would be interesting to go back and see whether that's just the Dragons of Pern series or whether it is also this series. Also, Restoree, I don't remember what that one was. Hmm, another Anne McCaffrey book, but I honestly have no memory of whether I actually read it or not. Ah, oh, then next on the list is uh, the Arrows Trilogy by Mercedes Lackey. Apparently I bought the whole series. Why don't I have that anymore? I must have gotten rid of it at some point. That's annoying because like I want to reread the whole Valdemar series at some point and that's probably the trilogy you would start with because I'm pretty sure it's the first one she published and it would be a lot easier if I still owned it. Ugh, how annoying. Then I also bought three more books which I've just got the authors written here so Julian May, Robin Hobb and Kristen Britton. So the Kristen, Kristen? Kristen. Kristen Britton. Anyway the author of The Green Rider. I do remember reading The Green Rider series uh, but I think I only ever read like the first two books in the series and I think in the end it was like a seven book series? A six book series. It was kind of very similar to the Valdemar series by Mercedes Lucky in that you had these uh, people, herald type people going around working for the kingdom and they had different powers and they had special horses although they weren't Valdemar special. <laughs> I don't know, I don't remember much about that series but uh, I do know it got a lot more popular over time. It's got very high ratings on Goodreads. Her. Maybe I should read that at some point. I also don't know what the Robin Hobb book would have been because I never touched any of the Realm of the Elderlings when I was younger. I don't even think I knew about it. Oh, I know which book it might have been. I mean it must have been this Inheritance uh, by Robin Hobb and Megan Lindholm. 
um, which is an anthology of tales from the six duchies and beyond. But I never read this. I only bought it because it had cats on the front. And I guess because it came with these two other books. Assuming that I bought it at this time. But in that case, I've had this book a really long time and I still haven't read it. What the hell am I doing? Let's put a little pile of these to the side and see how many of them I still have. I mean, I guess the Julian May one listed here could have been one of the ones that I have. I'm sure I don't know whether I got these in 2005, but I do have one of the Saga of the Exiles here. So we'll put that in the pile. Um, I really love that series and it probably was around 2005 that I read that series. It's got an amazing like time loop thing going on, especially once you combine it with her other trilogy called the Galactic Malu trilogy. Those series are definitely up for a reread as well. Uh, so then I have Damia, which is that first Anne McCaffrey book series that I was talking about before, or I think Damia is the second book in the series. So I still don't know when I got, if I got the first book. Anyway, I bought Damia and I also, also bought 4 and 20 Blackbirds, which I believe is another Mercedes Lackey book. Yes, it was the fourth book in the Bardic Voices series. So I do remember reading quite a lot of books in that series. But again, I couldn't really tell you much about what was happening. Some people traveling around <laughs> being bards. Apparently there were four books in the series. And I'm sure I read 4 and 20 Blackbirds, but I don't really remember reading the other ones. Maybe I did. Mercedes Lackey has written a lot of books and I have read a lot of them, so you can't blame me for not remembering them all. Oh, because the very next one on the list is just Lackey times 5, so I bought 5 Mercedes Lackey books. Who knows which ones? Oh, and then the next one is just 14 times McCaffrey, so I bought 14 and McCaffrey books. I don't have any of these anymore because all the Anne McCaffrey ones are ones that I've acquired recently from book fairs. So I guess I got rid of all of these at some point too. Like honestly some version of Past Penny decided that she didn't need any books I think except a couple and got rid of so many good ones. Like a lot of crap ones as well so like that was a good call but I have some regrets. Then next I bought some Marion Zimmer Bradley ones, um, Shara's Exile, Black Trillium, and an Ace Double. So I know that I think the first two were part of the Dark Over series, which I never really got into. I read a few short stories from it. Um, it was something to, some kind of portal fantasy where people, I think, what was it? Sci-fi started. I don't know. Some people ended up in this magical world anyway. Uh, <laughs> It's a very popular series but I just never got into it and I was always kind of overwhelmed by the fact that there's so much to that series and so I felt like it was quite a big commitment to get into it. I also apparently bought Black Trillium which is funny because I know that I bought that again at a book fair so I must have bought it and then got rid of it and then bought it again. <sighs> Wait but I have it. Here. I have it, which I'm a little bit sad because this is like an ugly hardcover version. I have a vague memory that the one on this list was like a nice little mass market paperback, more this style, which I prefer, especially for older fantasy books. Oh, so here, finally, um, I've written nine times sci-fi books, including The Rowan, which is the first book from that Damia series. So that's when I finally got the first book in the series. But I don't know what these other nine sci-fi books were. Now, the next two books I actually have. Okay, I went to get those books and then I got a phone call and I got very distracted. But um, Beyond Ragnarok I have. This I actually discovered is quite far through this Renshai trilogy by Miki Zakurikert, which I've read the Nightfall series um, that she wrote and I really love that book. So I want to read this series. Um, I love the art. I think so much about this book series is beautiful. Maybe not this particular edition, but uh, some of the paperbacks I know have really beautiful art um, and I'd love to read this series but gosh it's massive because that's just one book and who knows when I'll get to that because it's at the end of a really long series. Um, the other one I bought was an Anastasia book which isn't this one because this is one I got recently, one dollar book sale um, and I don't think it was this one in particular so I had bought the whole Anastasia series which was a book this is like a middle grade series about this girl named Anastasia and when I was a kid I loved it and around this time I bought the whole series again and reread it and then I got rid of it and now I'm trying to buy the whole series again so that I can reread it again. 
honestly. I wish I was better at hoarding things. Oh, now we get to the part of the list where I actually did start to get rid of some books. So the white dragon that I bought a little bit further up, I got rid of that. I sold it, I think. That seems weird. Maybe I already had a copy of it. The next book I've never even heard of, The Wicked and the Witless. I say I've never even heard of, like clearly I must have heard of it because I at one point owned it. Wicked and the Witless, Chronicles of an Age of Darkness, number five by Hugh Cook. This does look like a fantasy book. Oh, I was getting rid of it. I must have got it in one of those bulk lots I was talking about. And then because it was book number five, I sold it off. Hmm. I'm not going to look too closely at whether this might be any good because it's a 10 book series and we don't need new 10 book series in our life at the moment. Uh, then next I bought a bulk book lot of 31 books. Apparently for $13.55. Um, I wonder if any of them are any good. Probably not. Then the next book I got, I have right here. Um, it's, I don't remember if when I bought it, it was in such terrible condition. Like it kind of just falls apart these days. I should try to get myself a new edition. But The Ruins of Amorai is a book that I really love. Um, I think maybe it wasn't quite this rough when I got it, but it fell apart more and more as I have read it a couple of times. Um, I've read the second book a couple of times, but the third book is one that we've been waiting like 20 years for or something ridiculous. Unfortunately, Melanie Rawn, her mother died and then she had some quite bad depression. And then when she came back, she didn't want to go back to the book series she'd been writing at the time she went through all of that. So she went and wrote a whole bunch of other stuff and everyone's just waiting and hoping that at some point she'll get back to the third book in the series. <sighs> I really hope she does. Uh, regardless, I'll probably buy a better copy of this at some point. It's one of these ones where I'm just kind of hoping that one will turn up in the second hand bookshop. Then I bought five bulk mixed science fiction. Ah, and then I bought 17 books by Ellie Modisette Jr. So this I remember. Uh, I actually had bought the six or seven books that are in the Spell Singer series. Oh, the Spell Song Cycle is what it's called. So there were five books in that series, and I think I got all five of those. Uh, that's a really cool series. It's like this woman who's like an opera singer get through this portal and ends up in this magical world where singing has magical powers and she's able to kind of take over this leadership position. It's pretty cool, but also, so I turned up at this old man's house to buy these five books and then he had this whole room of books uh, and they were like well actually you know he's dying and so we're selling off all his books to make a bit of money uh, are there any other ones that you want and I wish I could go back in time and see what books are in that room because at the time I just didn't recognize a lot of them um, and I don't know whether that would be different if I went back now but I did end up picking up a lot of the books from the Saga of the Recluse. I guess based on maths, it must have been 12 books from the Saga of Recluse, which took me a long time to get through. But the Saga of Recluse ended up being a series I really enjoyed. And I think the whole analysis it has of order versus chaos and good versus evil uh, is something that's had quite a big impact on me. So lucky, although I did spend $70 on those, which I don't know if that was a sensible choice, Penny. Penny of the past, who had some money, but probably shouldn't have been spending quite that much on books. But hopefully they helped the old man out. Then I bought 12 science fiction and fantasy. Don't know what they were. Then I bought something by Lee and Leguin. So I'm pretty sure the Lee would have been uh, he Heroine of the World by Tanith Lee, which I recently read the beginning of. And the first chapter was amazing. I was so excited by it. And then nothing happened for like the next hundred pages and I, I was out. I couldn't do it. I couldn't push through it. Uh, I DNF'd it, which I don't DNF books that much, so... That was a shame. I don't know what the Lagoon one would be. I do have the Left Hand of Darkness, but I'm pretty sure that I bought that well after this. I have a vague memory of having read another Ursula K. Lagoon book, but I can't remember. Not sure. Then I bought another 12 science fiction and fantasy. Uh, then I bought Sword in the Circle, which I'm pretty sure is another Dark Over book by Marion Zimmer Bradley. No idea. When I search Sword in the Circle, nothing familiar comes up. 
I'm sure it was a dark over book. Anyway, next ones uh, is, an, is some more I was getting rid of. Also, was that sword in the circle? But the next ones I was getting rid of, and I don't remember them either. Silverthorn. It must have been Silverthorn. Must have been the third book in the Rift War saga by Raymond E. Feist. I've never read anything by Raymond E. Feist, and I guess I was never going to start with the third book in a series, was I? The next one is the Celestine Prophecy, and I've just been looking it up on Goodreads here, and I can't decide what's true about it. Like it, it's kind of trying to make out like it's a true story about the world but it seems like it's not really anyway who knows then apparently I bought seven books and I've written some very scribbly notes the only thing I can really read is Robert Silverberg uh I don't own any of those anymore but apparently Robert Silverberg is some kind of popular fantasy science fiction writer and I bought another six books two of which were by McCaffrey who knows which ones then I bought Killer Chandra. Oh, I'm so sad that I got rid of that series. So Killer Chandra is the second book in the Crystal Singer series, and I don't remember much about it except that this girl pretty much gives up her like normal life in order to become a crystal singer, where you go and you like mine crystals, but they like genetically modify you so that you have different abilities. I don't know, I don't remember that much about it, but it's another one of these ones that I would love to reread, and I'm really mad that I had the series and then I got rid of it. Like, what was I thinking? Then apparently I got seven books for free, but who knows which ones they were. I bought another 13 fantasy books, again, we don't know which ones. And then I got rid of two more. I got rid of Shadow of a Dark Queen, uh, which must have been a Raymond E. Feist one, The Serpent War Saga. And also Stone of Farewell. Don't you just love how all of these have like such fantasy names? You can tell they're fantasy straight away. So Stone of Farewell was by Tad Williams. I have owned a few Tad Williams books over the years and I've always just ended up not reading them and getting rid of them uh, because they're so long and they scare me. But you never know, one day I might read one and then regret all that time not reading it. So... After going through all of that, and I don't think I should have Anastasia on the list, um, my pile of books that I still own from this historical haul from 2005 is really not very big. And I'm not even sure actually that a few of these were actually the ones that I mentioned there, even if they're the same books. So really, I've just got these one, two, three, four, five books that I still own from the books that I bought in 2005. And this list says that in total, when you take away the ones that I sold, uh, I bought 147 books in 2005. What? I don't even remember having like shelves that had 147 books. Although I do remember moving out of the house that I lived in when I was at university and having to put all my books in bags because I was moving myself and I couldn't carry the boxes of books. So I put them in smaller bags so I could carry them. So I guess I did have a lot of books since I remember the struggle I had with moving them. But I definitely must have gotten rid of a lot more of those over the years. I did briefly live in essentially one tiny little room, so I probably downsized a lot at that time. So of those books from 2005, these are the only two that I still haven't read. Um, this one, I need to work out where the best point to read it is while you're reading the Realm of the Outerling series. If anyone knows, let me know, because otherwise I have to go and do some research. Research! Blech. Uh, this one, I know I've got a lot of other books to read first, so it's probably going to be one of the last books on my physical TBR that I actually get to. Anyway, I guess that is all the books that I bought in 2005. Let me know if any of the books I mentioned are ones that you've read and what you thought about those books, if you have read them. Or also, I'd love to know, like, did you ever keep a record of the books that you bought in the past? Do you have a lot of books that have possibly been on your bookshelves for over a decade? Or how many books are there that you know you used to own, you got rid of them, and now you have regrets? Like me. <sighs> Life decisions are so hard to make. Anyway, I guess that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a really wonderful day, and I will see you next time.